Malo and welcome to Season 4, Episode 27 of Breakfast Bites by Tevovosports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People Sports on another beautiful blue sky Saturday morning, 28th January 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby, as expected, Fiji crushed Tonga. 52-7 in their only game at the HSBC World Rugby Sydney Sevens yesterday. Today they play Japan at 11.28am, followed by France at 5.33pm, with the uh, Cup quarterfinals for men running from 9.05pm. In the Sydney Sevens women's games uh, yesterday, Fijiana lost to Great Britain 17-5, but they bounced back to trip up USA 17.14 in a thriller. Fijiana play Canada at 1.06 p.m. today with the women's quarterfinals from 6.54 p.m. all Fiji times. Also yesterday, Samoa beat Ireland 17.12 in their first pool game. They play USA at 10.22 a.m. today followed by Spain at 3.43 p.m. We tip Samoa to win the Sydney Sevens. In Rugby League, the Bulldogs have snapped up promising Brisbane Broncos junior Carl Oloapu after he was granted an early release from his contract and they paid an Australian $500,000 transfer fee. The team will relocate to Belmore shortly for the next four seasons. In Sports Biz, Liberty Media is the most valuable sports organization in the world in 2023, according to Forbes. They own Formula One, the Atlanta Braves, and some more sports properties valued at a total of $20.8 billion, but most of it is uh, in F1 racing. In boxing, Another woman is suing Mike Tyson, seeking US $5 million in damages, accusing him of raping her inside a limo after the two met at a nightclub in the early 1990s. She alleges in her complaint, filed this month, that uh, she has suffered the physical, psychological and emotional injury as a result. Very sad. For TableOverSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Mahalo, vina'a, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all, Tumas, for all your love and support.